What's going on YouTube? It's Mike living with 3M coming to you back today for yet another Vlogmas video. And we're going to talk today about the AVS vent shades, rain guards, if you will, and how, why I chose the stick on versus the end channel on my 2016 F-150. So today we're just going to talk about the vent, the vent shades and why I did the stick on versus the end channel. And there's one big reason on these newer trucks. I've got a 2016, but if you've got a 16 and up, it may even be on the 15s. I'm not sure. But if you go with the end channel, which actually does not stick on, they go, they just fit up in the channel and they do look flush. They look really nice. But on these trucks, they have a sensor. I guess the factory figured that if you have kids or whatever, that their head could get rolled up in the window or um, you were just not smart enough to get your arm or your head or whatever out of the way that it, when the window rolls up, and it detects something in the way, an obstruction, it will automatically roll back down. So the end channel, I'm not sure if AVS or uh, the other companies that manufacture these took that into consideration with end channels. But what happens is when you install these and 90% of the time, as soon as you roll the wind up, it will roll back down. So on my stick-ons, on some trucks, stick-ons look terrible. And I'll tell you why. On, on some models, the stick-on will actually be up here on the paint and you will be able to see the contrast. It, it just looks terrible. But on say my truck, I, and I can only speak for my truck, the stick-on actually goes on this black piece right here. So, you're, you're in the dark area. So there is no contrast that you can see the stick on. I mean, you can see it a little bit here, obviously, but it's not noticeable since that's the dark black area. So I'll give you guys a, a shot of this side. So they really work well with the truck. And also to mention, those are AVS. This is WeatherTech. So, and you see WeatherTech, but the bug deflector really has done a good job for me as well. It adds, adds to the look of the truck. Okay, so I'll give you guys a sort of demonstration of what I'm talking about for, for people that would not know. So, Okay, all right, so this is the main reason that, okay, see on here, you have the auto roll function. So it'll roll up on its own, all right? And we were talking earlier and I was like, gonna put my hand out there in there, but my luck, the damn thing wouldn't stop and crush my fingers or break the glass or something. So I got this little piece of, uh, what is that called? Whatever. It goes wire loom. Yeah, yeah, wire loom. So I'm gonna put that in there and show you guys. All right, so we're going It did not stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that would have been my finger. Yeah, okay. Yeah, way to go, Ford. Okay, so apparently that wire loom was too soft, so it didn't cause an obstruction. So I got a piece of uh, cable here. So, okay, so we're gonna hit this 
raise it up and I'm gonna put the, see it come back down. So, and it only lowers it halfway. So that is the uh, feature that Ford has to prevent you or your child from rolling yourself up in, you know, a safety feature, I guess you'd say. All right, guys, so with that being said, you know the reason behind why I chose not to do in-channel vent visors, um, mainly because of that, that it's gonna roll back down 90% of the time. Sometimes it'll roll up and there won't be an obstruction, but you saw that with the wire loom, that could be your finger, so I wouldn't advise trying it with your finger or your head. You know, just use a piece of wire or something it was a little bit more resistance. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow for yet another video and I will try to make them on interesting topics during Vlogmas. I did figure that was a good topic for people that are trying to decide between in-channeled and stick on ABS vent visors or vent shades or rain guards, whatever you wanna call it. So catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>